close. I mean, it shows you how close this game was up to this point, that that's the remaining health on the side of Immortals here. But we do have to remember as well, there was about a 2K-ish gold lead in favor of Immortals from those early game moves that we had talked about from Rainover that probably gave them the item edge you know, stats advantage they needed to win that fight. Some of the solo laners were actually ahead. <laughs> had a CS advantage for a large portion of the game. And the bottom lane as well, Piglet was ahead. But they played that fight when, when they were kiting backwards, and Matt decides to peel instead of jump into Huni. They aren't able to kill Huni during the CC hmm. chain. And then Frozen? Matt the creates fuck? this chain of events where they used so much on one guy who got away that they have to kite backwards. And then that last moment where I'm sitting there going, well, why isn't Phoenix helping Piglet out? Well, he doesn't want to go into choke point against a Caitlyn, right? So there's a lot of things that are going back and forth in that fight that you could probably watch it three times and just see something yeah. new every time. I think specifically playing against Immortals, you more clearly okay. see teams' indecisiveness mm -hmm. because it doesn't exist on Immortals. So as soon as it happens, it's, so, it's totally out of place. See something and Immortals new always decisive, always fast. Playing playing against against and plenty of decisiveness on the side of Immortals. Rain over kind of leading the charge in this game, taking advantage of Dardoch in the jungle. Coming up next, two mid lane stars face off as Jensen and the rest of Cloud9 battle GBM and Energy Esports. Stick around. We'll be right back. You guys don't have a time traveler? Yeah. That's pretty cool, dude. Yeah. Why we're 8 0 so far? We're not 8 0, we're 7 0. Uh, 7 0. <laughs> Holy, I'm good. Now under Lorlo, a double kill for Wild Turtle as he gets rolling. Piglet and Turtle in the standoff for the duel. The Fox Bomb comes over, breaks up the fight, and Poe Belter on the left field coming up through the turret. Speed 4. Wow! Oh, nice. Woo! now have another minion wave they continue to go forward and liquid doing everything they can kobe but at 28 minutes i don't think it's going to be enough 28 15 immortals takes down liquid Is this the Real Boy Gamers Podcast? <laughs> uh, I, I moved all my shit over to... OBS Studio to multi-platform. And uh, I wanted to test it out. Let me know how the mic sounds. Because the whole reason I didn't want to move over uh, to multi-platform is because I didn't think they had a noise gate filter, but they do. Found that out. I'm watching fucking LCS in the background. Test out the uh, hot keys. Um, I mean, so far, I think it is because, like, everything you add into OBS Studio is a global source. And, uh, it, it loads all of your shit that you have set up, uh, like, right when you start it up. And... Not to mention, it has a black, like a black skin, a dark theme you can put on it too. Did they let you change the scene transition instead of, or, um, there is like a, there's a scene transition they have, it's cut and fade. So, I just changed mine to cut, just, just now, so. Like, it just instantly changes over, like that. Whereas, like, you put it on fade, uh, you can actually change the duration of the fade, so like, right there, cause that just fades over. For the next scene. So like I could do, so that's 300 milliseconds. I could like bump it up to 700 and it just kind of fades like that. Which is kind of cool. I mean, I think it's cool anyway. 
Let's, that, was, that was 700 milliseconds, so up from 300 to 700. I actually like that. I like that feature. Like, I know in X Split, you could do cut is better than a dissolve. Really, you you like a you like it where it just like automatically just switches to the next scene, like abruptly like that. I don't know. I don't like that abrupt bullshit. In a perfect world, I would like to have like some sort of transitional uh, video play or something. But I don't know how to set that shit up. I mean, I kind of had something Welcome like that show, we are gearing uh, when I used XSplit, but well. yeah. Yeah, see, Pixel knows what's up. Yeah, I, I like the but Cloud Nine could I like the fade in and out. Yeah, pretty good place considering Immortals or OBS Studio. I think it looks good. Out of that spot. Cloud Nine, though, uh, they are going to have their work cut out for them. Um, and I think are they are do. Like, you can do. GBM There's a way to do it, but I think you need to like set up some CSS scripting and shit for whenever you switch scenes. So like, uh, he's way above the league average. Plus, we already showed the damage per minute is the highest also in the league. This guy is just dealing damage on no. They're supposed to be used to show time passing. Hope champions, whatever. And you know he almost video dissolves are overused in video editing. Oh my god. Well, I mean, we're not editing video here. This is a live stream. I don't know, man. Like, bam. No, this guy, Altec, the whole like cutting to the next scene is just kind of weird for me. I don't know. I, the only thing that I can't get working is uh. So you know, I used to play this game. Now, so like, I can't get the sound. Like, it shows the sound is playing. Video and the actual little, uh, it's a rare condition this day and age to read any good news on the newspaper page. Love and tradition of the grand design. Some often, um, but yeah, I mean, it would be nice to have it working. Wait, you can hear it? Are you serious? <laughs> Dude, I have that shit turned down pretty low, too. Let me turn down some more of There. You can hear that shit? Dude, I have that shit turned down pretty low. Oh, you can. You can't hear it. Oh my God. I turned it down lower, so it's not going to be as loud. But there's like... Dude, that's weird. I wonder why it doesn't output it to my desktop device. Well, I guess that's cool. But yeah, I have some like so that's an MP4 and like on this scene right here I have another MP4 video and the sound just won't work for it or the video doesn't play either same thing for this one right here too Two different MP4s, no sounds, no video So because I've played mid lane before. Wow, okay. Knew, well, I'm glad the Family Matters one works at least. I wonder why the other ones don't work. That's so fucking weird. The help on the mid lane. I knew exactly All the same did, format. Like, to communicate that. But you compare that to play, like But yeah, I mean, OBS uh, Studio is yeah, pretty legit. Um before, So I'm still learning how to transition myself into that role. And that's hmm. taking time as well. So not only do I have to figure out how to do it for myself. You totally to don't to do understand the Family Because you're fucking that's British, dude. That. That's so why. It takes time. Yeah. It's actually pretty funny because uh, when I talk to the players a lot and I ask them, you know, oh, who's, who's your the British best as fuck? Who's the best jungler in your opinion? Cammy. Laners will always say whatever enemy jungle camps mid most. Oh, he's by far the best jungler. So and the top laners will all be like, oh no, this guy's the best. I'm probably a different codec. Could be. Um, I mean, I downloaded them all the same way. See who's the best this time. Let's check out the starting line. I downloaded right them all the same way. Side, it is cloud nine. So I might have to try to. Uh, I have. I think I have some shit to like convert the, the video files to something different. Maybe. Oh. I'm Scottish as fuck. I just have to be British. Well, they took over Scotland, so you're all. It's all like the same. Same thing now. No, that's actually a joke. Uh. The first answer is always rain over. The so Brits took over. The they took uh, over Scotland. Uh, so like seeing, especially after that last, last game. 
Um, it's just like Impact Stream Clip Convert. Uh, is it is it free? Better than you. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll check it out. Better than you. Your team fights better. Let's see if I can get these fucking things to work. He came to class. He didn't do any of the homework. He aces the test. Then he goes out and parties, and he gets all the girls too. Come on, man. You gotta leave me something. I had a friend like that. All right, let's take a look here, though. Rush versus Moon. Rush but yeah, I mean, I think it looks good. Um, I had a little bit of buffering earlier. Like whenever I was like watching, but it's probably because I'm watching slash fucking looking at it. It looks like it's a little bit easier on CPU too. H264 is usually a good choice. Okay. Yeah, I know. Like all my like intro videos are all uh, quick time, so like Dotty movie. Because they have alpha channels in them. But uh, yeah, it seems like it's a little bit easier on CPU too. It's only it actually has a CPU usage on the bottom right. I wish I could. I mean, I could show you guys what it looks like, but it's going to be like an infinite fucking. So this is what it looks like. Poppy, Lulu's up, Gangplank's up. Wow. There are just so many. Yeah, it's really hard to target ban nowadays with so many powerful champions. I actually kind of like it that teams get to pick and choose and decide. Yeah, you can see the CPU down here at the bottom. Obviously, drop frames, time time going by. Uh, here's what the settings. I mean, there's very like little settings in here. Just that your output settings. You can change it to advanced mode, so you can actually set all this stuff. Uh, the audio settings. This is the audio settings. This is it. Like your audio device, your uh, input device. You can do multiple audio tracks in this thing, though. I was reading about it. Um, where was that at? There's like something weird to set up. Uh, oh yeah, look. So you can do multiple audio tracks. So well, I can't do it right now, but uh, yeah, you can do multiple audio tracks in here. Actually, put in a significant amount of time in on Nunu. Everyone always talks about his aggressive. Yeah, it's it's a little bit more. It's I think it's a little bit more intuitive. Uh, here's the themes: default and dark. I don't think I can change it. Yeah, there's the default theme. Dark is so much better. God damn. Um, yeah, I mean, it's. I think it's a little bit more intuitive, man. Currently, you know, in the new patch, they have reduced the cooldown on the ice blast. Transform. You can rotate shit up here with all this stuff. A certain like, if I click on an object, you can just manipulate it there. Dude, the dark mode is like. What sold me on it, honestly. I mean, that. So I. So here's the what I couldn't. So when I first started trying this out, um, so there wasn't a. Uh, oh shit! Someone just followed. Uh, not. Wait, what? Not just epic. Thank you for the follow, man. I'm just like fucking around, like checking OBS Studio out, bullshitting around. Um. So here's the thing about the noise gate. Can you put this well song? It's definitely one. It's called Built Water. No, sorry. Um, so here's how you do the uh, noise gate. Uh, so you click on the your mic, you go to filters, and you add the noise gate filter. So you just hit add, and then you do gain or noise gate, and you just add the noise gate, and you can mess with it. But for the life of me, I would have never found that just messing around with OBS Studio. Uh, you can do that on your, you can do that on any audio device too. So I can go in here and actually add a gain or noise gate filter to my uh, desktop audio as well. It's pretty cool. I know news cutters interested in this shit. So like, that's why I'm going, looking, going through it all. But yeah, this is OBS Studio in a nutshell. Um, I'm using. I think this is the latest build. This uh, 0.13.1. I'm using the 64-bit version. Um, I think the only. What did I have to? Oh yeah. So if you so if you do like custom, uh, CSS, on any of your like alerts or anything like that news, there are some plugins you gotta download. Um. What was it? Uh, x86 the Studio. So there's some plugins you need to download for the custom CSS portion. So like I use 
for my alerts and stuff. Uh, where's it at? For like this guy. So you don't get the CSS box by default in OBS Studio. You have to actually install a plugin that'll give you uh, the CSS box so you can dump in your, C your CSS code and shit. Because in regular OBS, it has that already built in. Oh, I switched fucking scenes so you couldn't see it. Shit. Um, I can just add a source in here really quick so you can see it. Browser source. So yeah, this is another cool thing. So when you add a source, like if you have to add the same source to multiple scenes, um. Let's go. Let us throw so, gonna, so it, it actually knows all the browser sources I've actually added already. So I can just hit add existing and just do that and it just adds it. So I'll just add it to the scene. So now I can go and look at the properties of it. And you can see right here, there's the custom CSS box. Big barn burner for game number one. We'll see if we can get the same one ignited for number two. It's going to be cloud nine taking on energy. And ladies and gentlemen, we are on the wreck. Just reuse that same burned down barn. Re <laughs> yeah, and that's the custom CSS stuff that I was talking about. I use Twitch alerts too. Um, I moved all my shit over to Twitch, alert, Twitch alerts. And that's how you do the custom CSS stuff for Twitch alerts. You have to do it in, in OBS or wherever else you, you know, exploit. You can do that. Um, I think there's like some other one, the game show or something. I don't know if you can do it in the game show or not, but I want to remove that. But, uh, yeah, man, like just for the dark mode only, like this is like such a huge change. And it, uh, like you can see right here, I mean, I'm not really streaming a game or anything. And I mean, just streaming alone actually usually puts a tax on my, my computer and it's only using 11% of my CPU right now, which is kind of huge. Cause I think, um, regular OBS uses about like 25, roughly 20 to 25 most of the time. One of the buffs was we can actually unpin this and use it anymore. And then corrupting potion. But yeah, this is OBS Studio, man. It's really cool. Um, the biggest pain in the ass, honestly, is just to move all your shit over to it. And I just kind of sat down and did that yesterday and set everything up. Picks one up. Mr. Doran versus Jensen in mid. He actually chooses to go as night ignite as well. Yeah, dude, it's like a huge difference, honestly, man. Huge difference. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure. Most offensive oriented. Um. What's that fucking very, very up in these fights. PC park or whatever? For park game. control. Start off. We're gonna get a lane swap. First game we have the matchup. This one will be slowed down a little bit. See if my, see see if my, all my remember, this now CPU cores are fucking. The tango in the jungle. Start taking away moves. Yeah, all my shit's not. Yeah, my shit is not parked. Yeah, let's see how heavily he actually goes for counter jungling on this new new. Um, Early on, you can just power farm your that own user account control, though. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure because I'll go to the day. Yeah. The yeah. OBS Studio, boys. I recommend it. It's still like in, in a dev state. I mean, just OBS, really, too, is just still in a, a development state. So, um,. Like if you guys find any bugs or anything, if you switch to it, uh, go post on the forums and uh, report the incident. Also, whenever you report, whenever you do, uh, whenever you go to like log an issue on the forums, upload your last or your current log file or your last log file. It gives you a GitHub link right here, and you just post that URL in your uh, in your forum post because they always want to look at the log file from OBS. To like determine if there's like a bug in the coding or some shit that they can actually address, but uh, yeah, this is this has been our OBS Studio preview, everybody. I just wanted to check it out and see what the quality looked like, and um, yeah, you guys, thanks for, thanks for stopping by. I mean, there's three people in here. It's weird, but uh, yeah, thank you guys. I'm gonna head out. Bye.